This is an Arizona's Family News Update. Good evening, I'm Kim Powell. Here are the latest stories we are following from the Arizona's Family Newsroom. Leaders of the Arizona Democratic Party formally censured Senator Kirsten Cinema Saturday in what experts are calling a symbolic move. The executive board of the party released a statement saying they took no pleasure in the move. It comes after Cinema voted to maintain the Senate's filibuster rules, effectively blocking Democratic legislation. Phoenix police shot and killed a man overnight after they say he reached for a gun when they approached his car. The incident happened in a neighborhood near 24th Street and Indian School Road. Investigators say they noticed someone speeding down the road before parking in a driveway where the shooting happened. Over 63% of Americans are now fully vaccinated. That's according to the CDC. Experts say the Omicron variant has proven to be more mild for those fully vaccinated compared to Delta. Health officials stress that the virus is still a threat. And a Glendale woman has finally returned home from the hospital after battling COVID and other complications for seven months. She went into a coma and then received ECMO treatment at St. Joseph's Dignity Health. She was not vaccinated at the time. We're kicking this low pressure system to the curb come Sunday morning. Well, look at that. Then we're on to abundant sunshine and a gradual warming trend. We'll close the weekend on a sunnier note. Highs near 70 across the valley. Lower 70s now through Wednesday. We're sneaking our way toward the middle 70s by Thursday. Even the upper 70s will be possible toward the end of the week. Looking ahead to next weekend's forecast should feature a mostly sunny sky, highs in the mid to upper 70s. And for these next several nights, expect lows in the 40s. For updates on more stories we are following, you can download our app and subscribe to our YouTube and Roku channels. I'm Kim Powell. Have a good night.